few minutes after eight o'clock right here on KTN Sunrise Live. And now we want to speak to Martin Odwar Otieno. He recently announced his retirement from the KCB group and in line with that has launched his book and it is his biography. Want to know more about that? Here's our discussion with Martin Odwar Otieno. Good morning and thank you for staying with us on KTN Sunrise Live. On the book review segment this morning, we speak to a man and today we're not talking about interest rates, we're not talking about investments, we're not talking about the KCB group per se, but we are speaking to Martin Odor Otieno, who is the CEO of uh, the KCB group and who recently announced that he will not be seeking um, to renew his contract next year and might in effect be retiring. And just as he made that announcement, he also launched his brand new book and it's a biography it's called beyond the shadows of my dream and today we speak to him and like I said nothing about interest rates nothing about money today we just like to get to know the man and know why you wrote the book first of all I think um, the first question on everybody's mind is you deciding to retire tell us about that yes uh, Yvonne thank you very much uh, you know one famous politician once said there come a time so I think that having been uh, in the KCB group for the last uh, seven years, during which time uh, my colleagues and I have seen the bank uh, grow quite uh, tremendously, um, I did decide that uh, it's come a time for me to leave the mantle on to somebody else to, to, to push the bank to the next level. And, and hence that uh, that announcement is actually a coincidence. The, the, the announcement and the launch of the book were never timed to to sort of come at the same time. Great, because that was my next question. Yes. Did you think about it? No, no, uh, absolutely. It's, it's it's one of those coincidences because uh, obviously we we did agree with my board sometime a couple of months ago, three, f two, three months ago, um, and there was a process which kicked in place to uh, recruit my successor and that process had its own timelines um, and then we've been working on the book for sort of the last two years and, and that had its own timelines and so the fact that uh, you know the two kind of were announced at the same time is just a coincidence <laughs> okay so you say you've been working on the book for two years now um, a lot of people would say, well, you write your biography when you're well into your twilight years, when you're 90 years old and, you know, things have been said and you've long since retired. Um, tell us about how you decided to start, you know, the idea of the book formed in your mind. Maybe I'm into my twilight years. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think uh, so. But it's, it's, it's quite interesting because what, what's, what has happened over the years is that... Uh, Obviously, I'm not as young as many people think I am, uh, and uh, I've done different things in my in, in my life, and a lot of this is captured in the book that um, that was launched last week. Um, but in my earlier career, I did a lot of uh, training, you know, uh, in 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 different stakeholders in businesses, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. And I wrote training manuals, etc. But I never got to the point of getting them published as, uh, as, as as books. They were very much internal for internal audiences and and some external audiences that were related to the subject. Um, over the last ten years, uh, I did in fact, uh, you know, once I, I came out of working for government in, in 2001, um, I started thinking much more seriously about sort of documenting some of the experiences. Uh, and then time has passed on. Um, and about two years ago, I was on a, on a leadership training program. And one of the things that I told my sort of uh, my class, as it were, that you know, I really like to sort of document some of the thoughts and experiences uh, at some point. And 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 uh, Rosemary, who is one of the the, the co-authors of this book, actually, you know, uh, volunteered to to help me do this. And she assembled the, the team of writers, you know, Barak and, and Dan and herself. Um, and, and, and one thing led to another. 
and hence, uh, hence the book that was launched last week. Tell us about how you worked together um, in terms of writing the book. Um, of course, Barak Maluka um, and the others that you've mentioned. What was, what was the writing like? Would you write uh, something down, a manuscript? Would they then go through it and make it better? You know, was that, was that an interesting uh, process? The process was, uh, you see, once we, so once, uh, you know, Rosemary, you know, came up with, with this idea, you know, I can coordinate the writing of this. Um, I then say to her, okay, uh, so uh, how do we start, kind of, you know, I, I say to her, I've got a lot of stuff, I've got speeches I've given in the past, I've got, uh, you know, things I want to talk about, I've got many people who can talk things, who can say things, for which we can, you know, get into this. So she said, you know, let me get this team together and, and let's work out a structure of this book. So, so they sat together among themselves and came out with um, a structure. And once we agreed on that structure, which uh, appears in the, in the contents page of this book, uh, by and large, then uh, the next thing was, you know, let's try and get content. Uh, so, you know, I said, shall I write this content? He said, no, no, no. You just sit down, relax, talk, and we shall write. And give us a list of people that, and we shall find our own list of other people who can fill into this uh, story. So we must have had a list of, you know, a hundred people, maybe more. Uh, and between themselves, they went around talking to them and documenting the conversations. Uh, and over a two-year period, you know, they pulled this together into into a book. So, so my contribution was really, you know, telling parts of the story. But a lot of the story comes from other people. Uh, who, who, who they spoke with. Yeah. Were you at any time worried about other people they were speaking with? No, I wasn't. Uh, I wasn't really because, uh, you know, once we agreed on the structure, uh, you know, anything could have gotten into that, into that. but uh, given that they're professional uh, publishers and, and journalists in this field, uh, I basically deferred to their professionalism. Were you at any time worried about other people they were speaking with? No, I wasn't. Uh, I wasn't really because, uh, you know, once we agreed on the structure, uh, you know, anything could have gotten into that, into that. But uh, given that they're professional uh, publishers and, and journalists in this field, uh, I basically deferred to their professionalism. Okay. Yeah. All right. Was that difficult to do? I mean, being a man in charge and now saying, okay, I, I let this go into the hands of somebody else to tell my story, which is your story. You know, were there parts when you thought you want to take As control of on, the process? Yeah, I, I actually thought that I needed to take control, but at the same time, you know, I was, you know, once you go to a doctor, you sort of, sort of lay your life before him, and uh, and, and, and and they then do what they what, what they do, and and so towards the end, uh, we were kind of. Um, like with any other project, you know, kind of getting stressed, you know, running out of time, you know. Uh, and you see, trying to get a book written by four or five different people is quite a difficult task. Everybody has got it in their own language, their own style. Uh, some people think this is not important, that's more important, that's more important. And towards the end, they actually kept me out of it. They sort of said, you know, Martin, you just go and sit, you know, let us, let us deal with this matter. So, so this is how it all Work together, but I must say that they were quite a professional team. Um, we spent a lot of time together, uh, you know, in all sorts of places. Uh, you know, they traveled up country to talk to my siblings at home in the village. They talked to the chief, the local chief. They talked to my priest. They talked to my family. They talked to my friends, my uh, you know, st other people that they thought had information. Uh, so, so it was quite uh, quite a journey. Which means this must be an interesting book with everybody that they've spoken to. And well, I hope you find it interesting when you read it, <laughs> and, uh, and I hope the other readers find it interesting. Indeed, and what I do find interesting is getting to know the different side of you, because we see you in corporate circles, we see you at press conferences and press briefings, and there's something interesting that came out of the book, that um, when you began your path um, in your career, you weren't always going to be a banker. You weren't always going to be the person that you are today. Um, interestingly, you would have been a priest, is that right? Not exactly a priest, but uh, you know, within I'm Catholic, and within that, the, 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 this uh, this uh, sort of uh, a level below priesthood called brotherhood. So you know, you kind of go through the same 
the same route, but you, you don't get ordained a priest. You get sort of, uh, uh, you know, into this category of brothers. Uh, they don't get married. They go into a particular profession. And, and this particular profession that I was enrolled in was actually going to be a teaching profession, so I would have been a teacher. Um, uh, so I would probably have adopted a name. I would be called maybe Brother Martin or Brother somebody else, and I would not be at your studios today. Well, we apologize for that technical hitch with our sound, but we are back. And like I was saying before, that was part one of our interview with Martin Odor Otieno, who is the outgoing CEO of KCB Group. We'll be speaking with him again tomorrow, delving a little deeper into the book, the issues that he's talked about in the book. So you do want to keep it with us. If you can, purchase the book and let's read the book together throughout the week today. Now.